already three people watching. Hi guys. Just doing a little cleaning because I'm about to make another video. Gonna do another vegan cheese. This one by a uh, a chef called or a YouTube video or YouTuber. <laughs> this cold is killing me. Um, by a YouTuber called Cooking with Plants. Hi, Cassandra. So I figured that before I start actually filming, uh, while I'm still doing the prep and and the cleaning, that. Uh, What's for dinner? You know what? I'm not eating dinner. Maybe leftover Chinese food because I'm not cooking. I'm I'm going to be beat after doing this video because it's going to take a little while. Do, 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 do. I should probably eat something before I make it, though. Good point, Clinton. Oh, well. Okay. So you know when you make a video, no, oh, how am I going to film a video when I can't talk? You know when you watch a video and you watch someone's cooking show and you think, you make it look so easy, would that actually work? Well, I'm going to test that. I'm going to test that today. Who do we got? Hi Stacy. Hi Mike. Let's test and see, shall we? I'm going to be making... I'm going to be using this. It's called Cooking with Plants. And it's a vegan cheese. And it melts and it slices. It doesn't dice. It doesn't... Hi, Sam! <laughs> Hi, Christine! So, yeah. I'm pretty excited. I'm changing up some of the ingredients because when have I ever followed a recipe to the tea? I don't do that. I just don't. Hi, Stacy. Watching from wife's area at Cabela's. <laughs> You're in man country. Redneck man country. <laughs> That's hilarious that they have a wife area. Kind of like the in the mall where they have all of the armchairs for the husbands and the purses. Is that, I, I imagine it's something like that. Gronk, <laughs> no doubt. Okay. I'm going to assemble my ingredients. Really? Yes, really. Because you have not been coming in and out all afternoon. That's not a thing. Are you cold? Bit. And you need to get naked. And in the hot tub. And in the hot tub. That is the follow up to that. Right? Do you want to get naked and get in the hot tub? I doubt it. Just stay down. Okay, sit down. Okay, what do I need? I need 1.5 cups of stuff. Oh, I'm very excited. I got my agar, 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 agar powder. Hi, Fluffy. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Suzanne, my newest Facebook friend. Are you talking about Fluffy again? No, different Fluffy. <laughs> no, this is Matt's buddy, Fluffy. Dwayne. I was on here, but you heard me say the name Fluffy? Yeah, no, different Fluffy. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing? Yeah, why are you wasting these cashews? I'm not wasting these cashews. <laughs> you stop that. You're not funny. <laughs> you wouldn't want them. They're soaked. I know. They're all mushy. I know. Salted cashews are good. They're not salted. They're raw. I want salted cashews. You want salted cashews. Well, then you should go out and buy yourself some salted cashews. Maybe even smoked salted cashews. Now, see, you're just taking all the nutritional value out of them. No. Yeah. I want flavor. Flavor. I'll give you flavor. I want fun. I want happy. <laughs> <laughs> this food is flavor, fun, and happy. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is when you're not eating crap all the time and used to crap all the time. 
Should try healthy honey. I think like happy healthy. <laughs> happy healthy. You're hilarious. You're hilarious. You're distracting me. You're lucky you're cute. Back to that. You're not videoing anything, are you? I totally am. We're on Facebook Live. <laughs> yep, yep. So I can't say anything sexual. You can say if you, it's my Facebook friends. They don't care. In fact, they would assume no less. YouTube, I would cut it out. <laughs> like your suck my dick comment earlier today. I was videoing for YouTube. That part came out. <laughs> love you. I love you. You're hilarious. One of the many reasons I love you. You make me laugh. Mostly at you. What? What? Nothing? Your pussy. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> All right, one and a half cups of plant based milk. And a half a cup of cashews. I think I'm going to put more though because I think that's a half a cup before you soak it. You think? You think? I don't know. Who knows? But I'm going to put a little bit more because I'm probably going to want this to be a little bit thicker anyways. And again, do I follow recipes? No. <laughs> Hello, Aaron. Beware of Jackson watching because Steve's crude and... This is where I'm allowed to swear. I don't on the YouTube videos. You can have him watch Grandma on the YouTube videos, and I really try and control my mouth there. All right. Ooh, I want a waffle. I need to throw something in my tummy. So I'm going to throw in one of these. If you have not tried these bad boys, that lighting's shit. Um, pumpkin spice. They're gluten free. Again, I don't have a gluten anything, but these are just goddamn delicious. You're the only one awake, Erin. Is it nappy time in your house? I did that uh, earlier today. I already had my nap. This cold is kicking my ass. Hi, Chrissy. Did I say that yet? Okay. All right. You're distracting me. Stop it. Okay. Cashews. Three tablespoons of almond meal, which I actually looked up because I don't think I have almond meal. And I wanted to see what the replacer is. It's flour. It's just a gluten-free flour. So, yeah. I'm still going to stick with gluten-free, though, because I do have enough people in my life that um, do require gluten-free. I don't, I don't mind gluten-free at all. I mean, it depends on what it is. I've got a pierogies, a gluten-free pierogies review that I did. I'm saving it for when I don't have content. Hi, Amanda. Oh. This, I've discovered, is my favorite brand of, of plant milk. I've tried so many of them. Don't even start. It's good. I'm supposed to be drinking sherry or something. Cherry. Sherry? I'm supposed to be drinking sherry? While I'm cooking? This is so good. <laughs> Are you having a I'm lucky I'm cute moment? I think you are. That's mine. That's mine. It's warm. <laughs> I know it's warm. <laughs> Very cold this day. Yes, well, go climb in your hot tub. One tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm cheating. I'm sure it's better with real lemon. But this is called real lemon, so, you know, that's close. It is real lemon. 
Yeah, but you know what? A real lemon is a lot better. A lot better. Okay. 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 Stop it. Um, three tablespoons of grapeseed oil or similar. That I don't have. And I, you know what? I think I'm going to use a flavored oil to give it what's on the menu. I'm making cheese. Dig Gary. I'm making Gary. Um, a melty, slicey um, cheese. I'm actually prepping for a video I'm going to do for my YouTube channel. I figured that was the boring part though, so I would do the Facebook Live just to give myself some entertainment. Little did I know that the man was going to be entertaining me. <laughs> and you. Funny guy. Okay. Now, I have four different flavored oils. Garlic, basil, truffle, and hot chili pepper. And the hot chili pepper is really quite spicy. You know what? <sighs> I think I'm going to do the garlic, which I use most often, can you tell? Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do a mix. I haven't opened the basil yet. I think I'm going to do basil, one tablespoon of basil, one and a half tablespoons of garlic, and then a half a tablespoon of the hot chili pepper. Yes, Melissa, garlic. I know. I knew you would say that. Well, I didn't know you were on. But if you were on, I would figure you would say garlic, so. <laughs> this bottle is sticky. Not in a good way. Such thing as sticky in a good way? Yes. Yeah, there is. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to do... Oh, come on. I need a man. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, garlic and basil will be delish, but I really like the hot chili pepper too. Okay, so one of those is beautiful. Is beautiful, man. One of those. See, this is what makes it melty. Because with a cashew-based cheese, it's a solid. It, it can't melt, right? And it's not going to be melty and gooey and stringy like cheese is, but it will melt a little bit so that if you have it on toast or you want to put it on pizza or something like that, it will have that kind of melted. Woo. Okay. Oh. No, I forgot that. Actually, I'm going to do a half a tablespoon each. Dun, 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 dun. Of truffle. I don't smell truffle. I only smell olive oil in that. It's not as exciting as I wanted it. If you know you're going to serve it with, you can change the amount of flavors to suit the dish. Thank you. I'm not new. <laughs> All right. And a little bit of heat. Because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. All right. I'm really excited to work with this recipe because it's working with agar, which I've never worked with before. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, two tablespoons of agar mixed with half a cup of boiling water. Now, I gotta go get the boiling water. Stay with me.
I actually keep the kettle in my office because I drink hot water all during the day. So, I'm going to do this with agar. So, what agar is, is it's an algae. It's an algae and it's used by vegans as a thickening agent because most recipes um, that are not vegan use gelatin and gelatin is made from the bones and hooves, hooves, you're eating hooves, of the bovine. So, just gonna mix this. Now this needs a little bit of time to activate and that's why you make it beforehand but look at that it's like immediately gelling up perfect it smells gross okay so there's that Two tablespoons of miso paste. I'm going to put some dill in this because I fucking love dill and I put it in everything. Maybe I'll put it in half of it. I think I'll make half of it first without and then in the remainder of it, I, me so don't know, you're such an idiot. Chia powder. You can use as a vegan thickener as well. Um, you can. It's a chia powder. Chia is a replacement for egg. You can use that. You can use flax seed oil but this is um and yeah you can for like puddings and whatnot but i haven't seen it in any of the cheese recipes clinton so i don't know um hi jazz hi alex um, i'm just talking with my mouth full because i'm rude like that um i'm making gary a recipe that i found online that i've been wanting to make but I didn't have agar power powder and I do now because Canada Post delivered today I got mail today is that not the weirdest thing dill yeah right dill rocks my world okay two tablespoons of miso I have this miso because I don't know what the difference is between them no idea This is miso paste. When you order miso soup, what you're getting is a stock um, with some paste and some tofu and some seaweed. But this will add that umami flavor, that um, just that that depth, that uh, depth of flavor that we're looking for. We don't want it to be a really simple flavor. You want it to have some depth to it. So that's where the miso comes into play. Okay, two tablespoons of miso. Miso, honey. Not actually, I'm really sick. Oh, that's not true. But it just seems to fit. Ooh, I'm getting a text. Oh, yay, Sky made it. She had a long trip today, so. I'm very kind of her to let me know that she made it safe. Mm -mm 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 Mm. Now it says vegetable stock flour pout. Try that again. <coughs> vegetable stock powder. I don't I don't have that. 
So I think I'm going to use these. Um, light is just shit in that corner. <clears throat> these onion cubes. It's like an onion stock. It's either that or I have a, a not chicken bouillon. No. 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 Well, I wonder if a third of a cube is 3.7 grams. I need a Logan. 3.7 is almost 4. Almost 4 times 3 is 12. 12 grams. How many grams are in a table or in a teaspoon? Someone answer me that. How many grams are in a teaspoon? Is it five? I seem to think it's five grams. All up. Hi, Alex. Anyone? Someone Google that for me. Did I say it? There's an app for that. Facebook Live is on my phone, asshole. Five. Thank you, Alex. So I'll use a half of a cube. Running out of bowls. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. I think that's going to add, ooh, that's a little bit more, a little bit more than half. I think that's going to add some really nice flavor to it. Between that and the flavored oils. Funny guy, Fluffman, funny guy. Let me just smack you next time I see you. Except for I think you'd like it. Mm -mm. Okay. And then half a teaspoon each of salt. And it says white pepper. I don't know if I own white pepper. Ah, I do. Yeah. Yes, bitches. Mm -hmm. Do I own sea salt? I should. Oh. Short people problems. <clears throat> Sorry, boob shot. <laughs> You're all welcome. Okay. So a half of a what? Teaspoon. What a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Half of a teaspoon. I'm not very good at aiming. It's not my job. You're hungry. <laughs> you want some salt and pepper? Okay. Half a teaspoon of salt. Sea salt. And then half a teaspoon of white pepper. And then... You know, I'm not a fan of pepper, so I'm actually going to take some of that out. I think that's going to be a bit much. I always think I like pepper until it's pepper flavored, and then I'm like, oh my god, I don't like pepper. <laughs> I should. Yes, I should. Mm, you're so funny. Are you reading my mind, Amy? I think you are. There's no nooch in this. That's crazy. Okay. Nutritional yeast goes back. Oh, oh. Right. I'm going to snip me some dill. And then I have glass molds. I'm calling the molds their bowls that I bought specifically for molding cheeses. 
So I'm not sure how many this is going to make, but um, I'm not going to be able to eat it all, so I'm probably going to end up selling it. So watch my, watch my, um, ooh, you know what? I'll probably do it on my Accidentally Vegan page. Watch that page if you're interested in buying some freshly made dairy-free, <clears throat> dairy, dairy-free Gary. Watch my Facebook page. And if you don't know about it, that's because I'm not really advertising the page. I'm kind of letting it grow organically. Um, I'm advertising it on my YouTube videos. It's always mentioned at the end of the videos. And if you don't know about it, that means you're not watching my videos. Or you're at least not watching them to the end. All right. I go overboard on the dill, so... I think that well, maybe a little bit more a little bit more because dill because dill okay oh you know what speaking of If you like sliced cheese, this Earth Island stuff is freaking awesome. Like, I'm not looking to replace this because this product exists. But, you know, like, the, oh, the Boursin cheese, I was missing that. And, uh, I made some of that. One of my videos is on the YouTube channel, Accidentally Vegan D is my first ever cashew, cultured cashew cheese. And it's freaking awesome. So good. Okay. I say that a lot. I have all of my ingredients. I have a mess. I need to empty my dishwasher. I need to empty my dishwasher. This video is going to have dishes in the background, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Ugh. I am so sick of being sick. I have just had nasal spray up my nose. Um, you want some cashew cheese? Carly, you want cashew cheese? This one, this one's almost dead. I think I was supposed to salt it, and I didn't. Um, so I'm not willing to sell this one. But you know what? I'll make some more, and I will let you know when it's available. Carly, um, actually, I'll, I'll private message with you and see what flavors you want. The one that I did was dill cashew, no, dill chives and garlic, and it was really delicious. It's kind of um, reminiscent of a goat cheese, like, or... Although the Boursin is a, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, is a, um, is actually a cow cheese. I always thought it was a goat cheese, but you know how you see those goat cheeses that are rolled in fine herbs and it's kind of, it's that texture. It's 
really freaking good. So um, I'll talk to you via PM. You had me a dill. Right? I fucking love dill. Okay. Non-dairy milk. Raw cashews, soaked. Oh, almond meal. I don't have the equivalent for the almond meal. What have I got? Well, that's tapioca flour. I don't think that's what I want. Uh, guar gum. I have guar gum. What is this? Vital wheat gluten. That's the opposite of gluten free. I have all these weird ingredients now. I need a pantry. I need a pantry so that I can... I might not have a gluten-free flour. That's not cool. Oh, I guess I can take some oats and just whiz them up in the... create and make an oat flour. Is that a thing? Can you do that? I think so. Let's Google. Let's Google. Do you want to Google? Do you want to Google? Yes. Yes, he says I want to Google. Is it tasty? It might be. Is it delicious? Does oatmeal have gluten? I think that's the first question. According to Burewell, however, most oatmeal brands on the market today are not pure. They contain oats that have been cross-contaminated with a tiny amount of wheat, barley, and or rye. Mm. Fuck you. How to make oat flour. to momibles. Pulse the oats until they are ground into a powder-like consistency. Depending on the speed and power of your food processor, this process should take 60 seconds or less. Stop and stir to ensure that okay. all the oats have been finely ground. One cup of rolled oats will yield approximately one cup of oat flour. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I don't think I have any I don't have anything non-gluten-free. I'm going to have to invest in some gluten-free flour. Just put oats in a blender. Yeah, I kind of figured it was that easy, but, you know, I Google everything. It's my thing. It's my jam. Okay. I have a super wicked awesome blender, too, so that will be no problem. Boom. And boom. Do 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 do. Okay, so three tablespoons. Jesus. How about ginger snaps? Make ginger snap flour. No? They're gluten free. Oh well. That's okay. This one is an experiment anyways, so. This is just to see if the damn recipe works. From there, we'll be able to experiment Hey, what are you doing? Get out of there. So this one is not going to be gluten free. It's going to be gluten close. But I'm not going to feed it to my cousin who is celiac because this oatmeal is actually one of those blends that could have all sorts of things in it. Because it's like uber nutritious and good for you and all that jazz. 
which in that case I could have just used flour. But no, I want to be difficult. You do want a higher watt if you're using frozen fruits, but the minimum blender um, you want is an 1100 watt because that you need a powerful motor to really crunch up those frozen fruits or to um, you know to make nut butters, anything like that. If you're going to do anything in a blender, you want it to be 1100 or better. I got mine off Craigslist for 85 bucks, I think. I was pretty happy with that. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go, and I'm going to um, start recording for YouTube. So the channel is called Accidentally Vegan D, same as my, um, come on, Instagram, same as my Instagram, and the page. So um, if you wanna see how it turns out, you're going to want to watch there. Probably will be out either later tonight because this has to sit in the fridge for at least an hour before we can test it. Um, so, yeah, you're going to want to watch. I'm going to make it and then I'm going to stop the recording and record it again when we test it out. So it's all going to be in one video. Um, and then that will be posted sometime tonight or tomorrow. Knowing me and my impatience and my excitement, probably tonight. I mean, let's face it. That's it. Thanks for hanging out with me while I did my prep. Um, I hope I entertained you. Thanks for entertaining me. It can be boring and lonely in the kitchen, so. Much appreciated. Alrighty. Signing out.